I'm Josh Ackerman, a senior product manager at Stripe. And today, I'm going to give you a quick tour of how you can make payments your competitive advantage when building a no or low code tool. Let's go ahead and dive right in. What are we going to talk about today? Well, first, I'll tell you a little bit about how payments can be the thing that brings your product even closer to product market fit. I'll tell you about how you can get started with a tool that my team and I built at Stripe called Payment Links. Then we'll talk a bit about how you can find and acquire your first customers. We'll talk about then how you can fulfill your order seamlessly using a number of different tools. And lastly, we'll talk about the fact that you can get started today. First, I want to emphasize that accepting payments can really be the thing that brings your product to the next level. Why is that? Well, number one, it will allow you to get to product market fit faster. That way you know not just that customers are interested, but also that they're willing to pay for the product or service that you're building. Second, that will give you the confidence that you need to scale your product and service. Now, it's not just about acquiring customers, it's also about acquiring customers who are willing to pay for what you've built. You're building something amazing and you should charge for it. Lastly, along the way, you can really build a community of supporters and individuals who can refer you to additional customers and help you find a path forward as your product or service scales. Accepting payments online used to be really challenging, but my team and I at Stripe have built a brand new product called Payment Links which will allow you to accept your first charges over the internet really seamlessly. The great thing about payment links is that you can generate a quick link that you can share anywhere. And that link is super powerful. You can share with your customers an online checkout page that you can customize to your liking. And there's a ton of power and functionality that you can embed right in that payment link to accept things like coupons, and collect taxes. Now, payment links have been live for a number of months, and there are millions of merchants who have already generated and accepted payments with payment links. One example is MakerPad. We all know and love MakerPad as an incredible force in the no-code community. They've been using payment links and have gotten up and running with Stripe in less than five minutes. So with that in mind, I am so excited to give you a quick demo of just how easy it is for you to get up and running with payment links today. So once you've created a Stripe account, you'll be brought directly to the Stripe dashboard. To find payment links, you'll want to jump right into the payments tab, and then you'll want to click on the payment link section. Here, I can see all the payment links that my team has generated. I'll go ahead and show you exactly what it's like to generate a brand new payment link. The very first step is choosing which product you'd like to sell. I'll go ahead and choose to sell an aluminum road bike via my payment link. Next up, I can customize what my payment page looks like. I can choose to allow my customers to add in promotion codes that I've predefined. I can allow my customers to adjust the quantity so if they'd like to buy two or three bikes instead of one. I can collect their addresses. Here I could choose if I need to collect their billing address only, or if I am also selling a physical good, I can collect the billing and shipping addresses. I can even customize exactly which countries I support shipping to. Lastly, I can choose to collect taxes. This makes it super seamless to collect your taxes via Stripe and ensure that your customers are paying the right amount based on their jurisdiction. You don't have to worry about it at all. You just have to click one button to get seamless taxes support. Lastly, I can choose what happens when my customers have made a purchase. I can either show them a confirmation page or redirect them right to my website. In addition, I can choose to add a custom message to say, Thank you for your purchase. And let them know that their item will be arriving within five to seven business days. 
I also have the opportunity to take a look, not just at this payment page that I'm creating, but also at the confirmation page that my customers will see. I can even customize the branding of this page in my Stripe branding settings. You can see here that I've pre-configured those branding settings for my business. So we've gone ahead and created a payment link with all of the power of Stripe built in. Now I'll go ahead and show you what this is going to look like. So now that we've created our payment link, I'll go ahead and copy this link. This link can be shared anywhere on the internet. For now, I'll just open this link in a brand new tab so you can see exactly what it will look like from the perspective of your customers. Here you can see all of the functionality that we specified as part of this payment link. And I'll go ahead and complete a test transaction now. I'll type in my email address. And I'll then go ahead and fill in my card information. Here I'm just using a test card. I'll fill in my name. And I can also include my billing address. So I lastly have the option to choose as a customer if I want to save my information and pay faster next time. You can also see that not only is the customer being charged for the product, but we've also automatically added on the sales tax for that purchase. For now, I'll go ahead and click pay. Now the transaction is complete. And as a customer, the purchase has gone through successfully. Now that we've generated a payment link, it's time to share it. You can share that payment link wherever your customers are at. You can include that payment link in an email newsletter. You can share it on social media sites like Twitter or Facebook. You can even include that payment link in support interactions directly with your customers via email or intercom. Lastly, you can go ahead and generate a QR code that redirects to your payment link. So if you're meeting customers in person, they can super easily go ahead and complete their purchase via the payment link that you just generated. The biggest thing that I want to emphasize to you is that you have the opportunity to meet your users where they're at. Regardless of where your customers are talking, this is your opportunity to chat directly with them and share your payment link in those moments. The next question that might be on your minds is how can I now fulfill these orders that my customers have placed? Well, I want to show you exactly how you can do so without writing one line of code. I'll emphasize here that Stripe is a tool that works with many other tools. And today, I'm going to give you a very quick demo of how you can connect Stripe with Zapier and then push data out to other tools like Airtable so that you can seamlessly fulfill each of the orders that are placed via your payment link. So, your customer has completed their purchase. Now, if you go into your Stripe account, you can see all of the details about their purchase by going into your All Payments page. And here we can see that successful payment and all the details about what your customers purchased from you. How do we get this data out of Stripe and into other tools? Well, just as I mentioned, we can use Zapier. Zapier has a native integration with Stripe that makes it super simple to pump data out of Stripe and into other tools. To get started, all you have to do is create a new Zap. Now that you've entered the creation workflow, you'll pick your trigger. Here, we want to choose Stripe as our trigger. And we'll also need to select a trigger event. In this case, we'll want to select the new event. This will serve as our trigger. We can hit continue and now choose the account that data will pull from. So I'll choose my Stripe account, which I've already hooked up to Zapier. Next, I can set up the exact event that will trigger data to flow out of Stripe and into Zapier. Specifically, you'll want to look for the checkout session completed event. 
This will be triggered every time a successful purchase is made via one of your payment links. I'll go ahead and continue. And now I have the option within Zapier to test the integration that I just built. I'll go ahead and click to test this trigger. And here we can see that Zapier was successful in finding data from Stripe via that successful purchase that was just made. Zapier has all of the data about that event. And now we can choose exactly where we're going to send that information to. I can go ahead and send it directly to Airtable or other tools that I'd like. I can even pump that data right into Slack so that my team can celebrate every time that a successful purchase is made via a payment link. You have no excuse not to charge for the incredible product that you've built or service that you're building. You can get started today and do so super seamlessly. You can sign up for Stripe and generate your first payment link, just as we went through. You can then connect Stripe directly with other tools like Zapier and Airtable to push data out of Stripe and into other tools to fulfill your orders. I want to emphasize the importance of taking that payment link and sharing it with users where they're at. You want to meet your customers in places where they're already talking so that you can be part of the conversation. And in turn, you'll build a community of like-minded individuals who can support you and ensure that you're off to the races in building your new business. Overall, I'm incredibly excited to be one of those first individuals please connect with me on Twitter at Joshua Ackerman, and I'm happy to answer any questions that may come to mind along the way. Thank you.